Hello everybody and welcome back to Oakfield Farm. So today we're going to be doing quite a bit of work in and around the farmyard. This is going to include working on the sheep and also sorting out the bales over in field number two. And also hopefully by the end of today's episode we will have sold field number two and then at the beginning of the next episode we can buy the new field. So I just must explain to begin with that um, yeah that needs to be tidied up. This is going to be our main straw storage stack obviously we're going to consume these almost straight away um they're going to need some of this straw for total mix ration and also for bedding so yeah we should be able to get rid of this very strange domino stack of bales very soon hopefully in fact we don't actually need two of these doors open so we'll close that one and we're going to start off by just well, putting this out of the way to begin with because I probably will be driving through here and then yeah clearing some more bales from the field because uh, I really must get it cleared. I think we'll probably clear half of what there is there now uh, and then at the end of the episode we'll clear the rest of it and then finally sell it all. So well sell, sell the field, we'll sell the bales as we go. Yeah we're going to do in the middle of this video we're going to do the feeding of the cows and hopefully we'll be able to do something with the sheep. However, I probably should be cutting grass, so we'll probably should just give them some hay or something. Anyway, yeah, that is completely empty. The combine is completely empty. We have 11,082 litres of wheat. If the price is good, we'll sell it. If it isn't, then yeah, we'll put it in storage. It is still good at 1274. However, <laughs> the sell point is a very long way from here. Do we have anything in storage? We do. Okay, well, in that case, we'll top it up and then take everything to the sell point and try and make a good bit of money. In fact, I think once we have done that, we'll actually go to bed and we can do the rest of the episode in the morning because it is going to start to get quite dark. But yeah, this is fine just for finishing off today. One thing I've noticed is uh, this lorry does like to keep speeding up even when you're braking. The slightest downhill uh, gradient and it's just going to be going forever. It, it just doesn't want to stop. So yes, I'm, I must just not accelerate as much to begin with. That's pretty good. 26,927 litres. Now if the price had been very bad I would have just put everything in the grain store. But luckily it was very good so I don't need to do that. Okay so yeah, let's head off to uh, the sell point. I didn't realise I had lost a silage bale. You might have mentioned it in the previous episode. I'm actually recording this episode before the previous episode has even been published, so if you did say something, then, well, thank you, but obviously I I haven't been into the future yet, so I can't tell. Uh, but yeah, the last time I went here, I actually had a bit of an issue with getting this up onto the cell point. The stabilizers on the trailer, if that's what they're called, the legs, um, yeah, they were a bit low, so it was a bit tricky going up forwards, but we can we can reverse up. So there we go. Trying to get a good bit of money here. Another thirty-four thousand three hundred and twenty-six pounds. This is good. This is going very well. Anyway, we're going to have to come back and get the silage bale at some point next time we have the telehandler up here. But just for now, I'm going to have to uh, push it to the side so the traffic doesn't hit it. In fact, the traffic might have been switched off, which needs to be change there we go put it on yes uh, i could just leave it there actually because the traffic will probably just push it anyway however they might just keep pushing it and it might end up somewhere unknown i might never know where it went to so yeah that's fine just up against the uh hedge in fact interestingly uh it was last summer in real life i was traveling down a fairly busy road actually it wasn't a quiet road quite a bit of traffic and um <laughs> i went around this corner it was a fairly blind bend, and just suddenly in front of me, there was a huge straw round bale, just sat there in the middle of the road. And when I passed it, obviously, you know, when, when there are other people around, you sort of put your hazards on and stuff just to warn people, slow down, there's something on this bend. Um, but you can't really get out and, and move it, well, I suppose you could roll it, but yeah. Um, it was kind of in the position where you think, someone's going to hit that. I don't know what damage it would do to a car, they might just push it out of the way, but um, yeah, it was really weird. Obviously someone had put it on their trailer, uh, moving it out of the fields and stuff, and not strapped it on properly, or not strapped it on at all. I've seen many farmers in real life uh, travelling on 
UK roads with no straps on their bales seems like a risky thing to do and no doubt illegal as well but I guess it is all to do with the the time it, it does take more time to strap it on uh, and it is all a big rush in harvest but I know it just depends which way you look at it doesn't it uh, anyway um, I'm not promoting not strapping your bells by the way I would say it's a very wise idea to strap your bells in fact that that clearly is um, a perfect example of why you would strap your bells anyway yes moving on I've just given you a very interesting story I'm sure you're all very very interested so now you're going to stick with me for the next very interesting story I'm gonna have to try and remember different things that have happened not much anyway yes we are back at the farm so what I'm going to do is just drop off the, uh, the the entire lorry here we're not going to take the trailer off or anything and it won't be used again today unless I use it on the low loader which I don't think I'm going to be I have got the dolly for that in fact I can go through here now I, I do like this cut through in fact I might even be able to park not so sort of blocking the way but sort of in the cut through I know we do have sheds to put stuff in but this is quite big so I think we'll just put the cover over and park that here. So yeah, there is the combat tractor. We're going to be using that very soon. Um, I think it will be able to lift a round bale. I can't see any reason why I wouldn't be able to because they're not that heavy. It would probably struggle with a square bale. Uh, but yes, what we're going to be doing is going across to the combine now and just quickly packing this up. In fact, I'm going to just jump cut. There we go. That can stay there get it folding up as well. Uh, the baler has also finished its job. I did all of that, except for that of course, but that can be uh, cultivated in by the next farmer. My job is purely just to clear clear the field. It just wants to be completely emptied. All the bales need to be sold. We have plenty of bales in storage, so I don't need any more. Hopefully the price is still good. Uh, if the price is terrible, like less than £100 per 1,000 litres, we will have to store them, but I don't want to because it is going to take a long time to pick them all up again and transport them to the sell point. So please be over £100 per 1,000 litres. Good. In fact, it's increasing over at Oak Glen Farm Barn, which is the place we went to yesterday. In fact, I haven't slept, have I? I have not slept. I do need to sleep. Yes, good night, viewers. I'm going to go and sleep in the bedroom. It seems like a fairly good place to go. In fact, I'm going to sleep in a bed in the bedroom. It will never catch on. Don't you tell me that I'm not tired. I'm I'm very tired. We're going to have to progress time until it gets to 7 o'clock, which is when you're allowed to sleep. Personally, I'd get rid of that. I think you, you should be able to sleep whenever you want, even though the traditional time would be, you know, after 7 o'clock. If you're on a night shift or something, you might want to sleep at midday or 8 in the morning. Okay, uh... That's seven, so we should now be able to bounce into bed. Or launch into bed. And we're going to sleep for 11 hours. So, hopefully it's a good day. I don't want it to be, uh, don't want it to be sunny. No, I don't want it to be raining. It looks like it is going to be a fairly good day. Put the time to times five. Yep, seems good out there. And we're going to start work. In fact, I'm going to just uh, get out my teleporter. Oh no, I've teleported to the wrong place. There we go. Actually, it's still a bit dark. Anyway, I'll make a start here. We have probably five loads, four or five loads to take over to Oak Glen Barn. Uh, we might do them all now. We might do half and half like I said at the beginning. Just depends how slowly the uh, job goes. If, if it's a fast job, then uh, yeah, we'll do it all now. It should be a fast job because, yeah, it's obviously an auto stacker. So I'll see you in a minute.
Okay, so what I've just done is I have pushed the bale to the edge because that is the only bale which doesn't fit on the auto stacker, unfortunately. I can get it later though with the tie handler, but now the field has been cleared, at least I think it has, I can't see any more over there. I should be able to sell it and a new farmer can start to put their own crops in. So I'm going to do that straight away. We're suddenly going to have quite a bit of money. So prepare yourselves, but remember, this isn't money we're going to be keeping forever. We're going to buy a new field, which will likely be even more expensive. But we now have £589,000, and that field is no longer ours. I think we own the grass field next to us. We do. Field number three. So we're going to be doing some grass work in there later, in a, in a future episode or stream. But yes, it, obviously we're going to be uh, buying a different field for arable. I'm not going to be doing any ploughing of grassland because this map actually has a really good mixture of grass and arable. So, I mean, there's no shortage of arable land at all. If you want to put your crops in, uh, you can do. Anyway, I'm off to the sell point once more to bring in around nine or ten thousand pounds, and then it's going to be time to get that feed mixer off that low loader finally. And yes, we'll be able to uh, feed the cows. The other thing we need to do is give them water, but uh, I don't have a water tanker at the moment, I don't think, but obviously I'm going to have to get one, uh, but that'll be for that'll be a future job, probably for a future episode, but it does need to be done fairly urgently, so if it's not today, it will be in the next episode. I've just noticed that really small field, field number four, is still in the FS19 version, which is great, because it's just the best field ever to do something on a really small scale. Depends what it is, what you want to do. I would say the best thing is trees, um, because obviously trees, they don't need a great deal of space uh, if you're not doing many trees. If you're just going to buy a couple of pallets, maybe even one pallet, fill them before is perfect for it. I think it's somewhere here. Possibly that one there. Yes, it is. Uh, I don't know how much it costs. I'll have to take a look, but it's just such a, a great field for doing odd things in. You could even put some placeables in there you could put uh, another farm there when I say a farm I mean a couple of sheds um, let's just take a look it costs 30,000 pounds and it probably comes with some trees too we're gonna buy it at some point I, I just can't resist it will probably be filled with trees but at the moment I don't know you see if they bring out a DLC in the future which maybe adds another function to the game, I might need a piece of land like that, although chances are if they do bring in another DLC with different functions uh, chances are I will have moved off this map but um, yeah, you can dream I dream quite a bit I dream that they expand this game more than they do in the next version and they did between 17 and 19 but um, yeah, I mean they're going to have to start to do quite a bit because there's so many different crops that you can have and we're always restricted to the same few I know they do add them, they do add more crops but there's just so many crops which many people probably won't even realise could be in a game um, obviously there's the obvious ones like carrots and beetroot maybe parsnips, broccoli, brussels sprouts there's just absolutely no end of crops what we have here is just the bare minimum so as soon as they do bring in a huge amount more, it'll be great, it'll be super good. Please don't take it the wrong way, I'm not trying to insult the game or anything, I absolutely love this game. I play it every single day, but for somebody who does play it every single day, it can be a bit frustrating when you can imagine what this game could be like with more, uh, but it just doesn't seem to get huge updates every time. So yeah, I, I really do support the game a lot. I could never not support it unless they just released exactly the same game again, which I don't think would happen. There's always changes. Sorry, Cement Mixer. Yeah, Farming Simulator. I think the reason why I would always support it is because I have been here from the start, ever since 08 was released. 08 was uh, the first one I ever played, and obviously the first one I ever released. And um, yeah, loved it from there, still love it now. The one crop that I'm amazed isn't in the game is peas. I, I really did think peas would come to FS19. Uh, pea harvesters. It's big around where I live. Well, sort of where I live. Not 
in my immediate location, but not too far away. But then again, yeah, I mean they're not from giants are not from the UK, so they're probably doing crops which are uh, done mostly around where they are. But I mean, uh, just ideas for the future. This isn't me insulting them. This is me giving ideas. Anyway, we're back. So we are going to now move on to the animal work. This is something I should have done quite some time ago. I can park this here. Now anybody who says, uh, can you put your tractors in the sheds? I will be doing. Uh, but just for now, I'm just leaving that there because I need to get on with this. When we have a bit more time, I can put stuff away. Uh, but I don't really have a problem with leaving the stuff outside unless it's raining. Okay, I don't know which tractor is best for removing that. I think I might get it off with the telehandler. Obviously, we're not going to use it with the telehandler, though, because it does require a PTO. The fence has not been used yet. It is going to be used, though. That is going to be the tractor which does all of the drilling. Uh, I did have the other fence, the wheeled fence, on the drill before, but yeah, it just wasn't quite big enough. It's a big tractor, but not quite big enough for doing some of these uh, fields on a hillside. So we do need the extra power and traction. So yeah, it doesn't look like, well, I haven't used it yet, but it, it, it is going to be used a lot. Okay, right, well, there we go. Uh, I'm now going to transfer that across to probably the case tractor. If I, if I reverse that order stacker into there, I can then use the case tractor on here. I'll just get it out of the way. I'll just put it... Uh, let's see here. Maybe not quite in the way there. It is a very big feed mixer and it isn't the biggest, I don't think. I'm fairly sure there is a bigger one. Right, that should be fine. We should be able to hitch onto there without any issues at all. Uh, whilst I'm in the telehandler, I think I will just take this opportunity to move these other straw bales inside because these have been very nicely stacked and have not currently tipped over. They're not yet tipped over. They probably will do when I've finished with them. But I'm going to attempt just to put these away. Because I know we've already got a bit of a mess in here. Like I said, they're going to be used. We do also need to buy a straw shredder or a straw blower. Okay, I know you're not supposed to do it, but I tend to just hit the wall so that I know I'm right up against it. The stack of five, which is the next one, is just going to be done in sections, otherwise it's going to go absolutely everywhere. And there's a third one to go on here as well. I can go between the two just to support it a bit okay right well um, if we can if we can get that tractor transferred if we can take it off the auto stacker and put it onto the feed mixer so we can begin the mix it's going to be I would say all those bales I don't think it's going to take any less since it is a big mixer and also we do have quite a few cows uh, I'll have to tell you how many cows we have though but they're probably going to be uh, grouped into colour, I would imagine. Yes, they are. Three, six, nine, and 13. So I, I guess not too many, but it's still it's still a decent amount, because they're going to breed. If I make sure they are looked after properly, uh, we should be able to get many more of them. Many more little things, little cows, little calves. Uh, okay, so I'm going to just leave that there. I'm going to grab the first bale, which I would imagine is going to be one straw bale. Every time I use a different feed mixture it's very difficult to get the right ratio but I think it's going to be one straw, two silage and two hay I would imagine but if it's not we can tweak it as we go. Okay so there's the uh, straw. Some very rapid hydraulics. I'm moving that a little bit too fast. Uh, now we're going to go for the silage. Obviously we've left a silage bale at the side of the road accidentally it did end up being very messy actually but they were strapped so that's why we didn't lose everything if I just remove that strap 
and that strap there it's going to have to be just one at a time I think because they've all gone everywhere once I've made my own it's going to be much neater because everything will be stacked in the barn all the different ingredients uh, obviously we had that crash yesterday the worker decided to flip the trailer in a way it's not a bad thing that I can just do one at a time because I can see how we're going and yeah I would say actually yeah it, it is going to be two of each it is it's going to be two silage, two hay and one straw and I'm going for the total mixed ration instead of just going for silage or just grass because obviously it is I think 100% effective instead of just 25% or just 50% so it is the way to go could have taken this bale off from the ground but uh, anyway I'm going to put that one in too and then we'll finally get two of those hay bales and then that should be enough for the cows and we'll, we'll give the other two hay bales to the sheep okay Yes, it's not exactly the ideal way of doing it, driving up a low loader. But it is going to work, and it has actually saved quite a bit of time. Is that still, that's still stuck on the trigger. It, that, uh, the uh, locking strips. The trailer is trying to grab the bale. Interesting. Now, how do I relieve that? Hmm. I guess it is designed for, for vehicles, so that's why it's, it's getting a bit confused. Yes. Okay, so this is the final bale. I'll just put another one in before this one. It should. Yep, top it up. Perfect. And that is going to be all we need for the cows. It's not 100% full, but it should still be a good mix. Perfect. Yes, everything is uh, very good there. So all we need to do is drive it into the correct area, which I think we're going to access hmm, through the other side. The combat tractor is going to be used for mucking out. I don't know if there's going to be any new in there yet, but if there is, it's going to be required straight away. I doubt it though, because we haven't actually fed them, which is very cruel. So we'll get the gate opened and get the food put into there. If we set the unload side to the right, uh, or is it left? It might be left actually. It was already correct. It does allow me to unload here, but I'm just going to make it a little bit more realistic by going inside. Now I don't know if it's going to take all of it. We'll have to wait and see. In a way it would be good if they do. And yeah, we're going to have to get the straw blower tomorrow. But this is 20,000 litres. And they have taken it all. Great. In fact, see, they could do with that again. Plus more. But it is something to be getting on with. Which is all I need for now. Now all I need to do is give those hay bales to the... Uh, oh, sorry cow. To the sheep. And we do have uh, obviously two silage bells left as well to give to the cows if they run out of the total mid ration. So it's all going very well. And I think we're going to have to keep this one under cover. Hang on, is that a straw? That is a straw sale point, but it must have been a different price. Which is the thing, it varies for different areas despite it being our own yard. Uh, yeah, we're actually finished with the tractor too, so we'll keep it all inside. Well, so far, I'm not going to complain with how we've done, uh, because well, although we do have six hundred thousand pounds, it isn't um, it isn't too bad at all. Even if we got rid of that, we'd still have around a hundred thousand. So, with the exception of flipping a tractor over and doing this to the bales, it's all good. This is just my casual let's play, anyway. Okay, this is going to end very badly, but this is going over to the sheep field. 
they're just going to end up on the floor, aren't they? If they keep holding on, I will be amazed. And, yeah, this is 8,000 litres, so I don't know if that's going to be enough for the sheep. But, again, it is something to be going on with. I really should sort out the water. I do want to give them water today, otherwise it's just going to be ridiculous. They're going to be uh, incredibly thirsty. Here you go, sheep. Look who's here. The crazed lunatic. The crazed lunatic brings you a delivery of bales. Mmm, tasty stuff. And that's about the same amount of food, actually, as the cows. The cows have slightly less in percentage. But that is good. Yes, water. We're going to finish with the water. But we're not going to go for any old water. We're going to go for most likely river water in a fairly large tanker because the cows are going to require it as well. What do we have? We have got something for the IT runner. We actually have something for that little truck we've got on uh, Misslingen. But obviously I can't get that on here too because it would be too similar. But um, that's a milk tank actually. This is water. Okay. These are water as well. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Yes. I think I'll go for stainless steel. Because I haven't used stainless steel before. So we'll put the telehandler back, and then we'll head over to the store with the uh, lorry. Take the trailer off. And we will be back. No escaping sheep. This one can go in here. There we go. Ugh, enough to make you feel dizzy. Uh, yes, me jumping in and out of machines rapidly. Yeah, where did I put it then? It's, it's over here. Really do like that trailer. Very handy for fertilizer. Uh, yep, yeah, so actually the trailer can stay where it is. And then the tanker can be stored somewhere nearby as well. But the likelihood is there's always going to be something on the tractor unit. So we don't really need to keep a huge area available for these long trailers. One thing you can't deny is it's a fast thing. It shouldn't be going so fast, but it, it can go fast. It can do 133 kilometers per hour, which is quite a bit more than this. Uh, 50. That would be 50 miles per hour though, because it's England. Uh, actually, I think I will just turn it back, because I'm getting a bit too confused. I have no idea what kilometres are in, uh, in equivalent to the uh, miles per hour. 82 then. So 155, 133 was... 82. Coming through. Good. Okay, so it just makes me feel like ETS 2. Driving this is very similar. My bail! And the store. Here we are. So, just we need to find a place to pinch the water from, and then we'll be ready to take the water over to the uh, sheep and the cows. Let's take a look at the map and plot our water point. Hmm. Well, I know there are rivers, but it's just choosing a river to go to. There is actually a ditch as we go into the yard. I don't know if there is water in it, but if there is, we could just pump out of there. Then again, if the water's free out of the uh, the tap hydrant, uh, then yes, it's absolutely no point in taking it out of the river. Yeah, so there is a ditch up here. I don't know if it has any water in it. It might be dried up. But, yeah, chances are we're just going to be able to get it out of the, uh, the water fill point. Anyway, that is empty, isn't it? That is completely empty. Oh, well. There is a river. But I'm just going to hunt for the, uh, 
the appropriate place anyway. Is this the water? It is, and it looks like it's free, unless it's going to charge us when we move. Uh, now that's going to take some time to fill. So I'm just going to have to sit here. Uh, so, yeah, for you it's going to be a split second. See you in a split second. Oh, it's full. I almost fell asleep. Right, okay, so that's going to be much heavier than it was before. Uh, but it should still be alright driving on the grass, hopefully. Uh, well, if you get stuck, we can always pull it out. So, uh, yeah, I actually have absolutely no idea how many litres it's going to take. I would say we have more than enough here for... hang on. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's going to be more than enough for the sheep and the cows. So first of all, the sheep. It will likely take less. Rapid filling. Rapid filling is good. Yep, so they've taken their amount, just short of a uh, quarter. And now we're going to head back to the cows. I'd say they'll take more than 25%, but again, we'll see. Make sure I shut the gate behind me. There we go. And yeah, let's just head over here. Now their water trough is actually there. Uh, I don't know if you can fill it up from the outside. It looks like it, well maybe you can actually. The trigger boxes are on the inside, but even so, I'm just sort of in the gateway. So yeah, this means that they are fed and they have water. So really their um, productivity should go, yeah it's already 90%, should be very good indeed. Straw is something the cows do re require still, but the sheep are obviously perfect. Even though that's showing as uh, amber, it is still perfect. They have everything they need. That's just really a time thing. The amount of time they have left um, with the amount of food they've got. Obviously it's showing litres, but yeah, you can pretty much convert it to time. But there we go. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And until next time, I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.